That spray's killing me, that stuff. What's going on, YouTube? Today is Tuesday. Tuesday, July 12th. So I sprayed both of my peanut fields yesterday, July 11th. Sprayed fungicide on them. And today, the co-op came and spread um, gypsum on them. So, uh, gypsum. So, what I've been told is gypsum helps fill out the peanut. So, it's, got, it's calcium. And peanuts need calcium. So, that's what gypsum is. That's what I was told. So, I hired the co-op to come spread it. Instead of getting a tow buggy, just let them come do it with their truck. So, I'll turn the phone around. It's supposed to be like... I think he said 850 pounds of acre is what he spread. Hold on, I'll turn. I didn't film that. Uh, so me and William just walking around where he spread and seeing it. So see it. We uh, got a good chance of rain the next few days, so I guess it'll get washed in. But nutgrass is dying good. Some of it is dying good, and some. Oh, that one's not. Yeah, where's the peanuts right here? Well, so the turnaround rows came right here, and I was planting those four rows, so I stopped right there. Oh. He ran over peanuts. I ran over peanuts too, spraying. Some weeds are popping back out, but I can come hit them with 2,4-D, I guess. Oh. Got it. It's gone. Try to pull that up. Pretty tough. Oh, that boy, get it. Keep going. Oh. All right, let me pull it up. Good. We got one more out there we need to pull up. Let no, I'm just, ahead. I'm looking at the vines, how they're spreading out. Okay. Nats is getting me. I need my Nats spray. Okay. Bring y'all out later. Well, I'm sad. The edge of that storm hit us. So it's nice and wet here. So all that tethering I just did was for nothing. So we'll try again tomorrow. Sun come out and burn for a while this afternoon. Not get any more rain on it. It probably rained a half an inch on it. So tomorrow after church, come over here and try to tether it again. And uh, see what we can do. I got this darn dog. He's been a nut. No head. But you know, Dad and William wanted to ride. Alright, we'll pick this up tomorrow, hopefully. <laughs> oh, some of them's up there at the point. Hey big girl. How you doing since I took your calf? Huh? Lordy bees, they're running from that way.
Boy, that is a little bitty in, ain't it? She's in heat. She's wanting it. Yeah. Number 24. Good job, girl. Old July calf. That's 48's calf right there. She's hollering at. What is old lady doing? Is she getting in the mix? Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to Strickland Farms. I am Jeremy Strickland. I am the owner operator of Strickland Farms. <laughs> That's funny. My daddy does a whole lot though. He's my unpaid employee is what I call him. So it's a big joke, but today is Monday. Today is Monday, July 17th. I took off work today because the weatherman said that we're going to have four days without rain. All right, so it's rained every day for weeks, which is fine. But now that we've got a break, and when I say it's rained, it's not, you know, like a big line of storms coming through. It's afternoon pop-up thunderstorms. So South Alabama, we get those constantly. And, you know, it may rain on your hay field, it may not. But it has been raining on all of my hay fields. So, let me get up to speed. Today is Monday the 17th. We've got four days without rain. Friday is supposed to rain. Um, so I have the Coo cutter hooked to the 6120. And I am headed to a 30 acre Bermuda grass field. Damn, it just looks like it's shaking really bad. So then we hooked up, Dad hooked up the uh, Vermeer pull type cutter to the 5075. We got it back from the shop. Um, neutral sensor went out. We gotta worry about that no more. So we will uh we will get that and bring it over here and me and them both are gonna cut this 30 acre Bermuda field. Then we're gonna move to cross the creek basically to a about a 20 acre Bahia grass field that's beside my 32 acre Bahia grass field. So that's the plan. We'll see how it goes. We also got to go bail a field that we've been trying to bail for a week. Stay tuned. Dad's calling me. doing it. Cutting hay. Making just my first round around the outside of the field, checking everything out. Uh -oh. 
get the outside probably four or five rounds done and then start laying off terraces. So when dad gets here with the big cutter, he can cut in between terraces, doesn't have to worry about terraces. So that's the plan. So I'll try to get some footage today, but I'm cutting with the coon. He's doing a great job. Cutting it about two inches, two, two and a half inches, which is plenty because there's a lot of grass out here. All right, bring y'all back out later. So there's my halfway line that I cut. And I'm working, I started, so that you can see how the terraces loop back and forth. I started at the smallest spot and I'm working out. So we got a lot done down here. We, we still like that little corner down there. But then dad's working on the upper side of the field. He's waiting out there. With the 5075 and the uh, Ramirez cutter. But you can see, there's a lot of grass right there. So, good stuff. I think we're cutting it at the perfect time, too, as far as maturity. All right, everybody, picked up a rider. This is Jacob, my nephew. <laughs> uh, Williams in the tractor with dad because <laughs> that 5075 has got a lot smaller buddy seat. But we have finished the top half and we are starting on the bottom half now. So it is 1050. So eh, two and a half hours to do the top half. We'll go with that, but not both cutters. So that kind of skews it a little bit. So we'll see. Uh, but not bad. Well, uh, Looks good. Everything's starting to dry up now. Uh, when I first started, it was kind of wet, but we'll see. We are, Dad's already started on the top half. I mean, the bottom half. And now I'm fixing to turn in and drop my cutter. So stay tuned. Oh, I gotta slow down. I can't do this and film. Uh oh. What if we broke down or repeat? <laughs> we we'll have to stand there. Let's see where Popper's at. Is he working on a tire? <laughs> First time I ever passed, passed anybody in a hay field, Jacob. <laughs> So, I can't use any with the camera this way, but Dad's behind me now. Can't go too fast in this little section. Ah, oh, we're finished. 
finish, cutter folded up. Dad folded his in. A dang big old horse fly just landed on the windshield on the door. But we'll go ahead to the next field and drop the tractors off. And then we will go eat lunch and then start on the next field. So we gotta stop sometime and go bail that hay. So we'll figure that out sometime. But I'm headed to the next field. All right, we are bailing. I've made seven bales. Moisture's holding at 14%. I don't know if you can see that, all shaking. But uh, it's doing good. So, pretty pleased. Now if we just get a, this was, there was a lot of hay here when we cut it. So, I know we probably lost some because it's been a, a week since we cut it, but I think it's gonna end up turning out all right. Like I said, I've got seven bells already on this front part. So, I think it's doing pretty good. It's a lot better riding in this cab tractor than it was that one without a cab. Woo! That's kind of rough. I ain't used to that. That's like doing manual labor. <laughs> yep, good to make number eight.